Hello guys, we are in here with the Cadillac SRX. We're gonna be changing the wheel bearing. So obviously, first thing we gotta do is just uh, try to take all those knocks, those knocks out. And we're gonna be taking this one right here. And I'm guessing this is 32 millimeters. Let's start it. So with the tire already out, and this axle knocks, actually is, it is a six, uh, 36 millimeters. We're gonna go ahead and take it out completely. And then we're gonna take out the caliper and keep going up. In this case, I'm using one of those tools. They are really good, they help you a lot with the job. Here we go. Just gotta boot it in. There we go, that's out. It is out. Pretty simple with those two. We're gonna take it out. Uh, we're gonna try to date out a caliper, which have two knocks down here. One it is right here, and the other one is gonna be in the bottom. Like, uh, let's see if we can see it real quick. Down there. This one right here. We're gonna try to date the caliper completely. Alright, having those knocks <laughs> out already, <laughs> this one, <laughs> and this one over here, well, let's... we should be able to like take off, take off the caliper with uh, the wrench. You just had to like pull it. And now you can see it already looks. So we're gonna be taking it out right now. So with the caliper and the brake part out, we have the wheel barrel right here already. What we're gonna do is just hit the axle a little bit in. So when we pull out those knocks, this one right here, this one over here, and the other one on the other side, we can take it out right away. So in order to like put it out, what we gotta do is like put this axle nut back in for a sec and hit it. In that way, this thing get loose, the axle get loose, and it is easier for us to take it out, to take the wheel bury down. All right, let's start working on those three knocks that hold the wheel bury, and uh, let's pull it out. So you can see over here, what well, we got is 18 millimeters. So we're gonna get out the knocks that, that are holding the wheel bearing, which is this one. I don't know if you can see it moving. And then we have this one over here. And in the other side, we have another one, just down there, that we had to take it out. We had to take them out. And after that, we will be available to remove the wheel bearing. And uh, this is the AB, ABS sensor that uh, we have to take out too. So you can see I'm ready to go those three knocks out. Shine right here. And we're gonna try to pull this out now. That's the only thing that we gotta do, just pull this out. And it has to go right out. 
but for that I have this tool over here that's basically gonna help me to pull it out let's see what happened so you can see using this hammer with this little tool we already got like got it off now we're gonna go ahead and unplug the ABS sensor and put the new one in let's go all right, here we go. We already got it out. The wheel berry. This is the old one. This is the new one. And uh, we just have to put it back in the same way that we take it out. So I'm gonna use a spray just uh, to make sure it doesn't stack. Next time that we have to change it, just in case that we have to change it later on. And that's about it. Let's do it. All right, so we already have the uh, three balls back again. This one right here. And the other one down here and the other one on the other side. We already put these nuts in. And now we're gonna put back the caliper with the brake part. So here we get the caliper on again. You got two nuts, one right here, and the other one right there in the bottom, right here. One and two. Caliper on. This is part of the brake center. Now you just have to put the tire on, and that's it. So here we go. All the the tires back, the lock nuts back. And that's it. Then you put this little thing back. And that's it. Ta-da! Done. Well done.